All right, guys, Nick Girosos. I'm here with Ian Lashley at the Lashley Training Center, and he's showing me some hoodie chokes, how to choke somebody out with a hoodie, which are pretty cool and effective, because he actually just did a few on me. So, Ian, what's the first one you want to show me? So the first one I'm going to show, the hoodie choke, um, they also in Jiu Jitsu they'll call us a loop choke. It's my it's my favorite choke. It's one you can put people to sleep with, put sleep, put people to sleep with really fast, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go high up on his hood here, okay. and I want to get as far behind his neck as I can. I'm going to snap Nick down towards the ground. Or also, if Nick was going to try to like, tackle me or grab yeah. my leg, this puts him in a perfect position for us to do what we call loop choke or the hoodie choke. So even if I'm here and I'm trying, correct? He's trying to grab my legs or you know, football tackle me or whatever. So I'm going to, I have the back of his hood here up pretty high. I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna make a loop around the neck. So I bring my, I drop my elbow down, bring it around his chin, I make a loop. Almost similar to a guillotine here. My other hand, so I have more control, I'm gonna go underneath the armpit. I'm gonna bring it behind his head. Oof. So now I create a motion where I pull and I push here oh, as well. And there's two ways you can do it. I like to go to the back of the head. You can also make a fist and try to stick the fist through. And you're basically, imagine like Nick's head is like a, a little thing of toothpaste you're rolling off. You want to try to pop it, pop it right off of there. You feel that right away. Like it's, it's, it's going again slowly. I'm yeah. trying to... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab right behind the head here. I'm going to grab the hood. And I like to just to snap down no. if he's not trying to grab my legs or whatever. Yeah, or so even if he's up kind of high, right? I can get a hold of the hood or the top of the jacket and kind of push it down a little bit so I loop around the neck and the head there and I take my other hand that's back here and I like to go underneath the armpit. Uh, wait, wait, stop right there. Yep. You, I'm already feeling. I know what's, no, go, go. Oh, I'm yeah. feeling the pressure of <laughs> shit. Yeah, and you, there's, there's a couple different things you can do there. Um, I could also, right, if I wanted to keep this hand free, I could just use this to control the head. Um, if we were on the ground, I could go through and roll and grab the pants. There's, there's a couple so different variations. Many, and, and, I can, and you can, can always strike at any point. And you can strike out of those. Because, well. I mean, there's so much stuff you can do from there. I can see here. It's like you could knee me in the head. You could just fucking blow me out. There's so much shit you could do from there for sure. But you feel that as soon as you put pressure, it's, I mean, there's not much you could do. You did another nice a nice one that you showed me before. With the, yeah, with the, yeah, so the, the, the baseball bat show. Yeah, this the baseball, baseball bat show. This, this one's really awesome too. So what I'm gonna do is basically like I'm holding like a wiffle ball bat or a baseball bat. So just like this. So I'm gonna reach directly behind Nick's neck here. So, so I, I have, let me see something yeah. I'm trying to see. So one, oh, okay, okay, this yeah. one's called baseball. Yeah. So you're going into the shirt? Into the, yes, into okay. the needle lapel. And also, or if you just had the shirt on, I could use the shirt as well too. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze and I'm going to swing like a, like I'm swinging a baseball bat oh, and I, I, I bring the elbow across the throat. And I really want to would drop down to my knees here. And I keep swinging the bat, swinging the bat, swinging the bat all the way down. And if I didn't finish it from that point as well, oh, I could tripod and go ah, all the way around. Ah, yeah, I would, go back, go back there. Yeah, yeah. So I could, I could have it swung here. I put my head and I walk all the way around. Ah, damn. And I'm also using my body weight now to hold Nick on the ground. Guys, you, I mean, there's so much pressure on the neck and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like allow it to go through, not tap right away. So right. you feel like, like it's like literally closing off right away. And again, it's, you are playing with the neck, so it is more. Right, some of those too, it's like a blood and an air choke as well. Yeah. So it's, it's cutting off the blood flow and the, and the air to somebody yeah, as well. Yeah, because I feel it. I feel it on the wide windpipe and I also feel it on the circulation. It's, right. it's, it's like a double. And there's also, I feel it on my neck starting to crank left or right. So like any point, anything is going to snap. So again, um, so once you, once you get, so once you grab right. them, so grab me so you could, the, the baseball, I mean, from there, you also have so much you could knee. You could right. Hang. It's almost like having a tie clench as well. Yeah, too. I yeah, can come yeah, here, here, I can knee, knee off of it. And then, head, head butt. And, and then you could just at the same time at any point, just pull that, pull that knee. Right. Like, you, you want me to do it again or? No, yeah, do oh, it again. Okay. So go slow, go slow. Yeah. So here. from here, I got my baseball bat grip. So one hand's up, one hand's down, over under grip. And I'm going to swing the baseball bat. So I, I tuck the elbow. I'm going to drop to the knee. And I keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging. Until I go, like, take him all the way down to the ground. Or he's already, you know, put out at yeah. this point. 
And then if I really want to finish it or add extra, extra insult to injury, I keep squeezing across. They put my head down ah. by his armpit. And ah. I ah. That's when you freaking feel it. As soon as you start turning, you're like, your body's pinned, your head's cranking, your neck's moving. Shit, man, those are, those are some dangerous moves, guys. That's for sure. That's it's an awesome good. one. Yeah, for sure it works. And again, it could be used in the street because people wear hoodies or wear jackets. I mean, guys, you have the options to strike, but all I'm trying to do with these videos is give you guys, you know, again, it's not, you, you might not pull it off at 100%, but maybe you'll pull off the initial move to trap. Maybe you'll headbutt. Maybe you'll go a choke, go halfway, throw a knee and then throw him down, right? But right. it's the idea for you to just develop, well, how can I use a jacket? How can I, you know, be creative with my environment? What whatever the attacker has on him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, check out Lashley Training Center, as well as reach out to David or Ian if you guys want to know more. Thanks for watching. Ian, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you.